now you are taking the second problem which is based on the KCL and KVL the question is what is the total current supplied by the battery to the circuit that means we have to find the current supplied by the battery 6 volt okay firstly we are considering the different nodes in the circuit suppose this node is A this is B C and D we know in the KCL and the KVL we are considering simply the branch currents so here we are considering the branch currents different branch currents suppose the current which is supplied by the 6 volt battery is I1 then this I1 current coming to the node B and distributed in the two branches suppose the current which is going in BC branch is I2 then simply the current which is coming in the BD branch will be I1 minus I2 then this I2 current is coming to the node C and distributed again in two branches suppose which is coming in CA branch is I3 and which is going in CD branch will be I2 minus I3 then this current which is I1 minus I2 coming in the branch BD which meets at the D and also the current which is coming from C I2 minus I3 again meet to D that means the total current which is coming in DA branch will be addition of both so simply which is I2 minus I3 plus I1 minus I2 so simply here plus I2 minus I2 get cancelled the only remains is I1 minus I3 that means which is the current which is coming in DA branch is I1 minus I3 so at the node the current is coming I1 minus I3 and also the I3 so total current which is coming at the negative terminal of the battery is addition of both I3 and I1 minus I2 so simply I1 minus I3 plus I3 so which is equal to I3 get cancelled only remains it is I1 so the currents which we consider is correct because the current I1 which is going away from the battery from the plus terminal which is also I1 minus I3 and also the I3 so total current which is coming at the negative terminal of the battery is addition of both I3 and I1 minus I2 so simply I1 minus I3 plus I3 so which is equal to I3 get cancelled only remains it is I1 so the currents which we consider is correct because the current I1 which is going away from the battery from the plus terminal which is also coming to the negative terminal is same I1 and I1 now we are considering before applying the KVL these are the actual directions of the current I1, I2, I3 both are the direction of the actual currents but during solving or applying the KVL we have to consider one specific path suppose I am considering the clockwise direction likewise these are the clockwise directions then according to that direction we have to consider the different currents firstly we are applying the KVL in the loop A B C A so apply this is the first step apply KVL to loop a B C A so therefore the equations will be C here before that we have to consider the polarization or polar polarities sorry we have to consider the polarities so simply according to the actual direction of the current we have to consider the polarities so simply see here the I2 current which is going from B to C so the starting terminal we are considering which is positive and the end terminal is negative that means current flowing from B to C therefore starting is plus end is minus these are all our considerations so therefore the I3 current which is going from C to A that means starting terminal is plus and the end terminal is minus similarly here it is flowing from C to D so starting is plus end is minus here also the current flowing from B to D so starting is plus end is minus now we have to apply the KVL in the loop so simply first loop we are considering it is A B C A 
so here it is current i2 or simply we we here considered it is a clockwise direction therefore we are considering the a c b a path that is a c b a because b here considered is clockwise path therefore see here in the two ohm register the direction which we have considered is from a to c and the actual polarity is to this two ohm register is minus 2 plus that means current flowing from minus 2 plus or it is rise in voltage therefore we are considering this plus 2 ohm into the current flowing through register is i3 then here the current flowing from c to b direction which you have considered here it is c to b therefore it is plus because minus 2 plus or it is rising voltage therefore plus 1.5 into i2 then in the battery the current flowing from plus to minus likewise we are going clockwise so plus 2 minus it is fall in voltage or it is minus 6 is equal to 0 so therefore 2 i3 plus 1.5 i2 is equal to plus 6 this is the first equation then we are applying kvl in the second loop apply kvl to loop a d c a a d c a okay now see here we have considered here the clockwise direction that means current flowing from minus to plus so simply it is or we are going from minus to plus so simply it is plus 6 because rise in voltage 6 and the current flowing through the 6 ohm register it is i2 minus i3 it is i2 minus i3 then here we are going clockwise and current also from plus to minus so it is fall in potential or it is minus 2 into i3 which is the current flowing through from the 2 ohm register which is equal to 0 then by solving this equation we get 6 i2 minus 6 i3 minus 2 i3 is equal to 0 therefore 6 i2 minus 8 i3 is equal to 0 suppose this is second equation now we are applying the kvl in the next loop apply kvl to loop b c d b b c d b so therefore here we are considering the clockwise direction so current flowing like this this is the clockwise direction so it is from plus to minus so simply it is fall in voltage or it is minus 1.5 the resistance and the current flowing through it is i2 then through this register also the current flowing from plus to minus or it is fall in voltage or simply 6 into current flowing through it is i2 minus i3 and here it is minus 2 plus again or simply it is for rise in voltage because it is going from minus 2 plus so it is plus 3 into i1 minus i2 which is equal to 0 then by solving this equation we get 3i1 minus 10.5 i2 plus 6i3 is equal to 0 suppose this is third equation and by solving these equations we get by three equations we get i1 is equal to 4 ampere this is the final answer we have to find the current flowing through the battery only so we are not finding the i2 and i3 we need only i1 that means the current flowing through the battery 6 volt that is 4 ampere thank you